We're back. Bare Bones Broadcasting, Normal Stock Folding. I put my um, crown hat on for my... This is my monarch crown hat. My brain cell gun that... Well, it's... It's a satire prop. Because this was called, you know, smoking cannabis to kill brain cells. Well... <clears throat> You think that's so? Ah! I'm a radio broadcaster, news. I'm really into current events. Actually, what I'm into is reasoning and explanation. And current events approaches that very vaguely. So I like to correct current events as conversation. As reasoning and explanation. And a citizen. In this case, you happen to catch the citizen that is the last remaining monarch citizen in exile in the United States on the way to the grave. I didn't even know it until I matured. One day, there it was. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, no! What do you do when you remember that is accurately what you are? In prayer, my maker kept saying, experience what you are. Experience back up and remember more. Experience what you are. Back up and remember more. Experience what you are. Back up and remember more. Backing up, backing up, remembering more. It's like going, I tell you. These people travel in what they call space. I don't. I take this whole contraption as a craft. And I travel in confinement. Up here, conceptually. How about you? Wow! Now we got some action. Moves with timing and wit and a pre-written script like currents in an ocean. <clears throat> wow! Faster than light. Does this planet travel through this cosmos? Woo hoo hoo hoo! You ever hear Pluto go, Well, I do it all the time. <laughs> Up here. I'm always going, <laughs> Yep, you ought to hear it. <laughs> you know why I, um, would you call that bat your belfry? Well, my dad, my dad would say, son, you're confessing to me you have bats in your belfry. <laughs> I'd say, dad, you got it. But by then his, his belt would be off. And he'd say, we're going to get rid of those bats in your belfry. Yeah. And he'd have me by the arm. We'd be heading for behind the barn to get rid of the bats in the belfry. <laughs> With his belt. He'd be laughing. Hmm. I didn't understand. But after you go a few times, you know, Dad, this ain't the way to get rid of the bat. Yeah. How about I'll work today? I'll work. I'll work harder, Dad. I'll work a lot harder. No, I think we need... <laughs> Man, ow! Oh, you shut up. Puka's into that kind of crap. Stop it. You know, do you think this asinine idea of beating the bats out of your belfry comes from Puka? I mean, with a nervous system that I can go like this and hurt myself? What? And that I can cut myself and they, this goo comes out, red crap? Or blue in some people's case. <laughs> I know when they cut themselves, there's really no oxygen in there at all. And they bleed very blue. You notice they never get cut. I wonder why. It's kind of like one of those artificial inner tubes inside here. Mm. Something fishy going on here, said Jonah. And that's an acronym to something. That is. Find instantly some hiding fish. Find instantly some hiding fish. I've got it. It's an acronym. Find instantly some hiding Fish. I knew it. That thing in the water. Find instantly some hiding. Fish. Something fishy around here. Find instantly some hiding. I figured out the acronym for fish. Right here, live YouTube. I told you. I told you. I told you I was Fairbuck Broadcasting King of Jews. I told you. You saw it. Live. Radio. I hate it. I don't, I always have a delay, you know. This, 
I'm used to working with a delay. Mm -hmm. This live stuff is pretty tough on me. Yep. Anyway, I told you. Find. What did I say? <clears throat> find some hiding. Instantly. Find instantly some hiding. Something like that. I'll forget what I said a second ago. I'm like that lady on uh, Bewitched. What was her name? Well, whatever her name was. Aunt somebody. I kind of am like her. <laughs> My boss hated me for that. He thought I couldn't get anything done. I got a lot done. Huh? And I talked with everybody on the job. Everyone knew me. I could get coffee for everyone and everyone. I knew what everybody drank. I could go, you know, on break time, I could get there and back. Give me, I'll take off about Oh, an hour too early. And get everything and be back by the break time. Same way for lunch. I'll start. I'll gather their money and take off. And I'll be back ready to eat. What's wrong with that? My boss had a problem with that. You need a mascot on a crew, don't you think? Somebody covers that kind of action. <clears throat> There's a place for everyone, and especially the monarch, the last remaining one, that has his mind on the, 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 I don't like, I think the normal one among you is one that considers you all simultaneously. Well, that doesn't give me much time to sit around and follow orders and stuff, does it? I try to comply with all the needs, and I really understand the reason for it, and I agree with every bit of it. There ain't a rule on this planet I don't agree with. Not one. I agree with everyone. I'm not, I've had a lot of trouble keeping up because I, you know, I got a lot of bad luck. I didn't have that bad luck. I better have kept up really good. And Almighty said, yeah, you've been hell on wheels to live with, bitch. I mean, well, that, shut up. That's what you call me. I mean, the Lord has all kinds of satiric names to term me. Cause when I'm spitting in the Lord's face, the Lord has a few words back. Let me remind you of that one. <laughs> That's how the Lord is. I'm an ornery, ornery thing. Ornery. You know how things are ornery. There they are. Things are ornery. The Lord's a thing. What would you call something you don't have enough brains to describe? Your senses really don't cover the spectrum of your maker. So how are you going to describe it? How are you going to describe your maker when your senses don't cover that spectrum? How? I'll call that a thing. Uh, bones, why does it always got to be a thing? Well, because what else are you going to call it? Bones? I must trekkie. Because it, what else are you going to call it? The it. Shut up. You are an it. <laughs> Pukas are weird. Have you seen my puka? Uh, I'd move the camera and it's a fuss to fool with this Mickey Mouse idea. And the puka won't appear anyway. And that's the problem. I, I started screaming at the bus stop the other day. Lord, you need to appear because there's two buses come by, both full bikes. I get trapped there. I had to wait for three buses because of bikes. Well, I told the second lady, this is evidence to make her there is an idiot. And everyone started laughing. They already know that. And they laugh. I mean, the whole crowd was like, some were trying to pretend not to. Oh, one guy, he was, oh, oh, he, obviously he wrestles with the Lord, see? And he wrestles with his own wedding and the stupidity of this place. So he told him humor in that. I Means he's a very wonderful man. That's what I said. You're the most wonderful man I've met for a while. A great sense of humor, buddy. <laughs>